Hey YouTube, this is DSR Richter. You see in the distance coming up, you see an ultramarine symbol on a some sort of tank and a flickering light in a barrel. What you're seeing is my uh, new project I'm working on. Um, this is actually a display piece that I'm going to be entering in um, Templar Crusades upcoming tank contest on September 9th. That is not the tank, that's a, uh, an old Razorback that I have and just using for uh, testing the size. I'm actually going to be using the uh, uh, Predator over there. It's in a plastic bag, not even starting to get together yet. So I'll hopefully get to work on that today and tomorrow. And I just wanted to show this off. Um, this is like a little display piece. It's also pl very playable. And you see up here uh, from my last video, uh, my uh, Marine uh, captain from Assault on Black Reach is finished. Uh, it turned out pretty well with all the uh, um, non-metallic metals. So I get in there real close. Not too bad at all. And also, you saw in the background I was working on like about I think seven orcs. See the lighting in there. It turned out pretty good. This is one of the rehabbed orcs. Did uh, like four layers of green on the skin, glazed it, um, trying to do a blue jean type of look. It turned out pretty good. Uh, that's got like a, I think a magic blue, then some space wolf gray, and another like I think another blue gray. I used a brush on top of it, and then the boots are all done in uh, snake bite leather to give them kind of a almost like a moccasin look. And that is the update for today. I hope we have more in the future. Oh wait, hold on. And I wanted to show you this uh, little project in the back. This is the uh, little thing you saw flickering, the little barrel. Well, what you're seeing there is, let's pull this apart for you. It's a little electronics, a little uh, uh, flashing LED, a magnetized piece of plastic card going into the uh, half inch of foam. And that's basically one of these things. Uh, one of these little uh, electric tea lights. Just took it apart, rewired it. Uh, very simple to do. Uh, you can wire cutters, a little extra wire from Radio Shack, and over here my uh, trusty soldering iron. Um, I will put a tutorial together in the future how to do that. I'm working on another um, um, terrain piece right here with magnetized um, street lamps. They're not going to be electrified, but this is going to be uh, it's a one by one piece of hardboard cut into a half, then the one half cut into quarters. So it's going to be basically one destroyed building with a uh, floor on it and these other pieces can be moved around the board if you need to be or if you want to have you know more uh, more terrain and a little more uh, um, you know difference to your uh, terrain board right there you see that's got the uh, it's being already plumbed or I guess or cut out for a barrel there's the barrel right there and that'll be all uh, put together in the next few days and I'll show this off hopefully uh, then. I'll probably get all the stuff painted together, both pieces. Uh, I'll just be um, get them all electric uh, you know, wired in and then get all the uh, sand in and um, filler and then prime them and uh, paint them together. I don't know if there's any of the same paint scheme, probably not. That'll be one paint scheme and this thing will be another paint scheme. So uh, thanks again for watching and I will have some more videos in the future and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.